Good morning. Okay, get All out right. of here. You make me mad. We have to get to church. Yeah. <laughs> Autumn. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. Seriously, stop. Need a bigger camper. Cloudy morning in Tucson, Arizona. Good morning. Yeah, we actually got a little bit of rain. Yes. Yep. Got a little rain yesterday, uh, but it didn't rain out. A uh, little outdoor movie night, which is always fun. We put TV on the outside of the camper and get a little campfire going, and had a lot of fun with that. So today we want to talk about uh, the why of uh, you know and the what caused us to want to do this trip. Yeah, I would say there's not anything really that caused us to do this trip. Um, we have a beautiful home in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Our families are there. Um, most of my family is there. All of his family is there. And um, so, you know, there's, there's not any one thing that caused us to do this trip. But the first half of our marriage, the first, you know, 10 years or so that we were married, we moved around quite a bit. So we had Sam Wyatt and then... Even Jacob, you know, moved from Illinois to Florida and I think even to Michigan. So he had experienced a little bit. He has some memories of Florida. Um, and then we settled into South Carolina. And we were there for about 10 years. Some of the views, I guess, that Autumn and Jacob had, some of the things that they would say, you could tell that they didn't have quite the same perspective as our two older boys who right. who had lived, you know, in right, all most different places. They had a very localized perspective of their life in South Carolina, which is awesome. Yeah. South Carolina is a great if you got to live in one place, we love living in South Carolina. Absolutely love it. Love the people, love the culture, the food. Um But we we just we just really wanted to give them a little bit broader view. Get them outside of their bubble. Get them outside of their comfort zone. Our older two boys, they have already grown and they have their own place and their their own jobs. And right. it happens so fast. So incredibly fast. Right. And, and with our older boys, we traveled around a good bit with them. I mean, they lived here in Arizona, right in Tucson. Uh, they were both born here. They were born, mm -hmm. Right, and then we moved to Illinois where I went to school, and then we lived in Michigan and in Florida and in South Carolina. So they had a lot of different perspectives just because of the moves we had to make for schooling and jobs. Right, so we just wanted to make sure that the two younger ones did that. Uh, Jacob, he'll be a senior next year. The timing mm -hmm. was perfect on it. We got our camper, and we thought... This is really, this is really fantastic. I mean, we loved our weekend camping. Right. I, we, we took a whole week and a half, I think, and drove up to Michigan and went through the Blue Ridge Parkway. And he started saying, you know, we, we could, we could live in here. We, we could, t I could totally live in this. Well, and Well, I think the first time that we took this camper out, this is our Gray Wolf uh, bunkhouse. And the first time that we took this camper out, it was raining and it was nighttime and we backed it into a camping spot at Devil's Fork, mm -hmm. right? Up in uh, northern South Carolina. Beautiful place. But we backed it in and because it was raining, we just put the slide out, out plugged in the electric and uh, waited to set up till the next day. So the next thing I know, I'm sitting right where I'm sitting now and I got my son and my nephew here at the table mm -hmm. and Kimberly's over here uh, cooking up some kind of fantastic sausage dip thing and mm -hmm. I sat there right at that moment I said this is incredible like we just backed in and we're in like our house it felt like we were in our house yeah. and then we woke up and went out and saw the beautiful view of this mountain lake and we're in the middle of the woods and we said we have a mountain house and you know what if we want to go to the beach we've got a beach house mm -hmm. wherever we are we've got a house there if we want to own a vacation house 
in the mountains, we've got that in this camper. This one camper can go everywhere and right. we can live in that location. And I think I started to realize that that first night sitting right here. So it's kind of ironic that here I'm sitting talking about why. Right. So he was on board immediately. Mm -hmm. It took, you know, I'm like, we knew that there were families out there who did it because when we bought our camper, we looked it up on YouTube before we went and purchased it and signed all the mm -hmm. papers and looked for reviews. And we found Exploring the Local Life. Right. They have our exact same camper. And so we watched a couple of videos of them that led to North and South, that led to Let's Junk More Journey. It led to all, you know, all the. Spot the we started, we started watching. And, yeah. We started watching, and I'm like, oh. I was starting to come on board, but all the questions, like, okay, you know, what happens when Jacob decides he wants to go to college to your job and our retirement funds do we sell the house do we keep the house what do we do and so i had already you know semi agreed to to go ahead and give this a go probably about three or four months into it i had to stop and say i am so stressed out thinking about five years down the road ten years down the road i will give you one year Right. One one year is as far out in advance as I can probably think about. I think that was the turning point is when we started to talk about it in terms of one year. One year. Because all those questions that she was just talking about, you don't have to necessarily solve right now. Right. And um, so the one year decision, I think, was was the really the turning point to to where we could kind of wrap our minds and our heads around that right. so then the next dilemma comes with how how do we tell our families that that we are going to take our rv out and live in it for a year and travel i remember there was a day we were headed out to drawer island state park and my sisters were going to meet us out there and we were going to go float and so we had our inner tubes and we had all the kids stuff and they were um, doing their thing and my two sisters and James and myself were all sitting around in the inner tubes floating and I said okay so we have a crazy idea <laughs> I said we are talking about living in our camper for a year and traveling around the entire United States. We were shocked because both of my sisters had already had the thought of, you know, I could totally do that. My sister Jamie is a school bus driver and she said, I would love to renovate a school bus. And so she was on Pinterest all the time looking at stuff. And then my other sister Dawn um, had already thought about it as a means to get ahead in her finances and, you know, get out of debt. I was floored. I was like, okay, here we go. And so then we still didn't tell our parents for, right. for a little while longer. I, I think we had to wait to tell most people until we had all those questions figured out ourselves. Like, well, what are you going to do about your house, health insurance, jobs? We had to have all those answers figured out before I could try to talk to somebody about doing this. Mm -hmm. And then around Christmas time, we started talking to our parents about it. And I still don't think they thought we were serious. I can remember mm -hmm. like in April when things were really getting real and we were emptying the house out and things like that. My mom saying, so... You're really gonna do this, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it would appear so. And when we get the answers to all those questions, we'll let you know. Because <laughs> yeah, we still don't have all the answers. <laughs> right, we we figured out again, kind of on that year basis, what we would do for those things. Looking at possibly longer term, you know, we're still working it out, and I think that that's probably true for most people that do this. You, I I don't think you can wait to to start until you have every answer right if you wait for everything to be perfect you'll probably never do it right i don't remember who said it several different people said it as we were looking at getting into this but at some point you just got to jump you just got to go and you'll figure some of those things out along the way now we also considered what happens if we absolutely fail we get out there and we 
we can't make money the way we thought we could make money or I don't know that you know it all falls apart what's the worst case scenario well I guess worst case scenario is you go back you get a job back around the house like you would have done anyway if you lost your job like we had to do before mm -hmm. you know when I've been laid off in the past where it's no fault of our own or other people that I've seen and they're they're let go because uh, of downsizing that kind of thing and uh, you have to just find another job everybody watching have probably at some point lost a job or had to transition to a new job in the home that you're in like we have so if we fail here I guess we just do that we go <laughs> go back find another job near our home or you know if we had sold our home which we haven't uh, but if we had sold our home we go find a job and rent someplace like we've done for the first 23 years of our marriage so yeah. Once we figured that, we said, well, let's jump and we'll figure it out along the way. And we have figured out some things and we're continuing to work through others. And I think overall, really, really enjoying the lifestyle and the time that we have with our family. Yeah, we are. No regrets in, in the decision to do. No. Um, it's funny because when, when we were talking about it with the kids, they were both first like... Are you, are you guys serious? We're, you, we're seriously talking about doing this. They would get on board and they would be excited and then they would back off. Mm -hmm. And then they would get on board and then they'd be like, no, 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 we don't want to do that. But I was doing the same thing. Right, me, you too. Know, <laughs> me I, too. I was like, are we, we, are we really doing this? I don't, I don't think that we can really do this or what are we crazy and then we would see something or i'd be on pinterest and i'd be like oh, look we could go here this is beautiful let's, let's go visit this place and so then we would start you know talking about it again but bottom line it became harder and harder to be weekend campers to take the camper home and set it back up in the yard um that yeah. that became more challenging Right, we got to the point where we would literally look at each other. We'd be driving back from a weekend camping trip, and we would literally look at each other and go, when we're getting to our exit, like, man, why can't we just keep on going? So we just had to figure out a way that we could keep on going, and we're still figuring it out. So. Yeah. But we're going. Yep. Not without stress. <laughs> There's definitely uh, stress involved, and in the end, if you look back at all the experiences we've had, so far in what nine months yeah i think it's been already. nine months yeah um we have probably had 10 years worth of vacation experiences as far as seeing things like spending you know a week in the florida keys or you know going to see texas or being here in arizona seeing uh friends and family like our friends we've got to spend an extensive amount of time with our friends here in arizona right. that we have talked about every year for 18 years how can we do that just one time and we never were able to do that right. and now we have done we've spent a considerable amount of time with friends and family up in michigan and arizona we got to see my nephew in louisiana weddings and vacation spots and Jake has caught fish all over the place and Autumn has met new people and seen some cool things and learned about firsthand about things. Uh, when, a good example is driving by the uh, the Continental Divide. When we drove up, uh, past the sign that said Continental Divide, we were all kind of like, hey, there's Continental Divide. What is that? We looked it up and we all learned about the Continental Divide. I think it's been a good education. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely something that we're going to talk about for a long time. And, you know, as the year's coming to an end, I, I don't feel like I'm in a hurry to to stop. Yeah, I'm not in a hurry to stop either. So we'll see. We know that we are going to be uh, heading back to South Carolina, sort of as planned, a little bit delayed in August, and then we'll make some decisions from there. Anyway, that's kind of the the backstory about why we decided to do this, the process that we went through and the back and forth. And so what do we have planned for today? <laughs> well, today is church. We are on our way to church. We probably need to get going. I think I'm going to help Ron with a project, uh, pick up some firewood and uh, make some videos. We have some organizing to do in the camper. Mm -hmm. So yes, the kids are excited about that. <laughs> Oh, and we're getting ready. We have we have visitors coming this week. 
Yes. So we are excited. We're going to head out and go do some boondocking with my aunt and uncle. Yep. So we have to start getting ready for to pull out this week. If you enjoy the videos, uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, we really appreciate all the comments and feedback. Uh, it does help us to uh, guide the direction of the channel and uh, be able to help people better. If you like the videos, give a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment. Let us know what you like or don't like or questions that you have. We'll try and address them in future videos. And we always try and respond to every comment that we get. Y'all have a great day. And uh, we'll see you later on this week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.